Presently, I am teaching Arabic in Anushakti Nagar. My question is, it is mentioned in the Quran that one day in the sight of Allah is equal to a thousand years. And in another place, it is mentioned that one day is equal to 50,000 years. Isn't the Quran contradicting itself? Please explain. Assalamu alaikum Zakir bhai. Uh, my name is Shakir and I'm a mechanical engineer student. I would like to ask you a question that uh, how can you prove to an atheist scientifically the existence of God? The first thing I will do is that I will congratulate that atheist. I'll congratulate him. You know why? If you look around us, he's a Hindu because father is a Hindu. He's a Christian because father is a Christian. Some Muslims are Muslim because their fathers are Muslim. This person though he may be coming from a religious background he does not believe in the false god which his parents attribute to so he does not believe in god i'm congratulating him because he's accepted the first part of the shahada the first part of the islamic creed la ilaha there is no god now my job is to prove illallah but allah which i shall do inshallah at one place the holy quran states that man is created from sperm, which is inconsolate with modern science. But at another place, it also states that man is made from dust. Now, isn't the Holy Quran contradicting itself? Or is it consolate with modern science? Quran in several places has mentioned that the heavens and the earth were created in six days. But in Surah Fusilat, it says the heaven and the earth was created in eight days. Isn't this a contradiction? And the same verse also says that the earth was created in six days and then later on the heaven in two days. This is against the Big Bang theory that the heavens and earth were created simultaneously. With regard to the evolution of Homo sapiens, you have Charles Darwin in science giving an explanation that it's because of the process of natural selection that the human beings have evolved. Now this is, seems to be in contradiction with the Islamic belief that we, have, we are the children of Adam alayhi salam. Now how can this be reconciled? I have not come across any book which says fact of evolution. All the books say theory of evolution. There is no book I have come across saying fact of evolution. If I have to insult someone, that if you were present at Darwin's time, this theory would have been proved right. Trying to insinuate that he looks like an ape. It's a joke we make. In the Quran, it is stated that the hearts of the unbelievers are sealed. But according to science, it is the brain that thinks and not the heart. Your comment please. When Quran speaks so much about science, then how come the Muslims are so backward in the field of science? I do agree with you. Today, today, the Muslims are getting backward in science. You know why? The Europeans are being advanced. You know why? The Muslims are becoming backward because we are going away from the Holy Quran. We are going away from the religion. <laughs> and do you know why the Europeans are getting advanced? They too are going away from the religion. I'm a student of Sabu Siddiq. My name is Harsh Vagela. I want to ask the question that after the death of human being, that body should be bur burned out or should be buried. It is mentioned in one verse of the Quran that Allah is the Lord of the two east and two west. How can you explain this verse of the Quran scientifically?